You don't have to live worried, uptight, in fear, on edge. You have a protector. You have a defender. The Most High God is standing guard over your life. There have been many times God has rebuked the devourer and we knew nothing about it. He kept you from that sickness. He protected you from that accident. He kept that tree from falling on your house, causing you so much in repairs. He kept that supervisor from holding you back. It's good to thank God for the blessing, the promotion, the favor, but sometimes you need to thank God for what didn't happen. Thank him that you didn't get sick. Thank you that you didn't get laid off. Thank him that your child didn't get in trouble. That was God behind the scenes rebuking the devourer for your sake. Genesis chapter one, the earth was dark and without form. God said, let there be light and light came. He called the light day and the darkness night. This was on the first day of creation. What's interesting is God didn't create the sun or the moon until the fourth day. Yet he had light from day one. That doesn't make sense. How could that be? The sun is our source for light. God was showing us he can bless you without a source. He can promote you without people being for you. He can heal you without the treatment. When the angel came to Mary, he said, you're going to have a baby without a man. In the Old Testament, God brought water out of a rock. No lake, no stream, no source. When you look at your situation, you may see all the reasons why you can't get well, why you can't accomplish a dream, why you can't break the addiction. You don't have what you need, but God is not limited by what you don't have. He doesn't have to have a traditional source. He's God. He controls the universe. When he needs light, he doesn't wait for the sun. He speaks and he has light without the sun. What God has destined for you, he can do without a bank, without the treatment, without the experience, without the support. He may not do it a traditional way. I know a man that had 90% of his vocal cords removed. He had some kind of infection, kept getting worse. Finally, the doctors had to remove them. He was told he would never speak again. He might be able to make some sounds, but never speak. But he talked to me like we're talking now. I couldn't tell anything was wrong. The doctor said he was a medical marvel, an anomaly. They couldn't explain it. But when God wants you to speak, he doesn't check with your vocal cords. What God has planned for you, he doesn't check with your bank account. He doesn't check with your friends to see if they approve. He doesn't check to see if you have the talent. He speaks and it becomes. He's going to bless you without a source. 